Good morning. What's going on? Welcome to the Easy Stream. Sunday morning, fish room hangout stream. Where we hang out? In the fish room. Yo, you, know, you started talking room. before the uh, intro was done. I don't care. I don't care. It's the way it is. Wow. <laughs> You're a jerk. How about that? It's the way it's going to be. You care about that? No. I've known this my entire life, man. <laughs> it's not telling me anything new. <laughs> Good morning, people. What's going on? As you can see, the voice is back in my head today. I don't know what happened to him last week. Fell off a horse, I think. I had there. food poisoning. Come on now. Come on now. Food poisoning? I did. Who made it? I ate leftover um, pasta sauce, and it gave me food poisoning. The white sauce. Ah, the cream. Yeah. I mean, shouldn't do that. Anyway, good morning. Let's say hi to people. Eduardo's here. Good morning. Good morning. Peplin Creek. Hi, people. What's going on? When do you think you will be down to human-like temps there? Oh, God. I don't know. September. The end of September. Sometimes the end of October. <clears throat> Maybe Yo, this weekend's this weekend's been pretty. Yesterday was nice. nice. It, it, yeah, it felt almost fall like almost. Yeah, there was like, like the humidity wasn't there. There was it definitely got hot yesterday, yeah. but it, it was not the humid. It was more really nice in the morning, in the afternoon, or like the evening. But yeah, yeah, it was nice. It wasn't too bad. But uh, let's hope today's like that. But I know I like, was it Friday. Oh my gosh, like ninety some degrees, and like the humidity was. Like, Sun just beating on hey, everybody. Preaching to the choir, man. I, I work know. outside. So did I. Anyway, John McKenzie, what's going on? Good morning. Said hi, Eduardo. What's up? Um, Scotty Aquati. Good morning. Good morning. My eyes are not working today. Jeff Kane, what's up, man? Good morning. That's why they invented glasses. Window liquor number five. I have like these uh cheapo. Disposable, well, they like fold up. Scotty said the leaves are already falling in um, Connecticut. Mm. They only have like a week of summer up there. <laughs> <laughs> Poor fellas. Debs, what's going on? Good morning. Richard Reynolds, what's up? Thanks for being here. Am I missing anybody? Color guppies, whatever. Jason does whatever, whatever he what. Why can't I read? I even have the glasses on. I still can't read. Jason does what he wants. I've read whatever he wants. Good morning, color cuppies. What's up? Long family show. What's up? Good morning. Bipolar fish keeper. Yo. Our aquatic universe with Mike B. New intro. I think that's been around since January when I put it out. But thanks for being here on time today. <laughs> Window liquor number five. What's up? You already said when I know. Up. I'm sorry. But he's a cool guy. I'm going to say hi again. Bruiser. What's up, man? How you doing? Mary Beth. Easy number 101. That's right. Easy 101. Let's see how easy we can make it. 310 Aquatics. Good morning. New local Austin. Oh, Good yeah. morning. I, see, I, see. I missed all the giveaways last week. You did, man. You did. Food poisoning. Oh, so you think I'm lying? You didn't want to be here. I know how it is. I see how it is. You missed what we if did. I didn't want to be there. I would have told you, dude, I don't want to be there. You would have been like, dude, I don't want to be there. But last week, we set up the uh, protein skimmer. Oh, you did? I got that. I 3D printed that part. It took me like a whole week to get it like down. Seems to be working pretty good. We can look at it. Let's take a look. It's been skimming now for, well, I mean, I've, I've emptied it a few times just to make sure it was working. I kind of dialed a thing. I think I need to turn or maybe lower the cup because I don't think it's, but it's gathering some juice. Look at that nastiness. You see that? Is, but I thought it was supposed to be foamy. Well, it foams over the top. You can kind of see where the foam is, but the foam is really uh, just water, uh, uh, right? All right? Okay, okay. 
I got. It. I'm gonna dump that out. Drink it. No, I knew you were gonna say that. I knew you were gonna say that. And I guarantee you, you drink that, you might not come back from it. Who knows what's in there, man? I gave you five dollars to drink it. No thanks. All right. Anyway, so it seems to be doing all right. I mean, it's pulling that stuff out. That looked pretty funky, right? So we'll see. I got. Actually, I totally forgot I did that. I bought all the stuff to kind of rehash this lid. I don't know if you can see where you're sitting. Maybe we'll go up a little. Doo 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 doo. I got the song stuck in my head, guys. It's dangerous. Dangerous. I just belt it out every now and then. I can't stop myself. Anyway, my computer is is. Is what? So bad this morning. Is it still doing that? Can you thing? hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Can you hear me? I think it's the You're internet, very dude. Very choppy. Might be the internet. Name that tune, yeah. Anyway, I bought the stuff to kind of. You do it. Jesus, dude. Uh, yeah. I mean, I'm assuming everybody can hear me fine, right? Eduardo has a question for you. I saw that. What's, uh, what's up with, uh, Saturday morning fun times? Is it going to happen again? I don't know. I don't see it happening in the near future. I haven't talked to Shannon in a little while. Uh, I know she's been busy with work. You do know that's just you, dude, right? <laughs> I'm assuming... If someone wants to let me know if my audio is okay, we can hear you guys just fine. There you go. All right. Cool. All right, so it's not just me. Fishimon's not doing well today. <laughs> He's having issues. Anyway, um... We discussed this lid thing situation, right? I don't know if you remember this, but because this uh, protein skimmer is in the back there, I can't get this lid all the way back. So it's kind of hanging over by like an inch here in the front. So I have in the past done this solution where I take these little J channels. I don't know what you guys are looking at. Hang on. There we go. Yeah, take these J-channels. I think they're called J-channels. They're uh, for, like, uh, vinyl paneling. Lock them in. These are for the corners. And uh, I basically put the back panel locked into it, cut it to fit the lip, and this one slides on top. I was going to cut this at the hinge, put that, you know track in there and then slide this back and forward but that still leaves this big gap in the back here right and it's too big for this this can go like right through probably shouldn't be doing that so i was trying to find a solution to that problem and uh my uh my solution was i was looking around in the old uh what do you call it Big box store, hardware supply place. This is as high as I can yank it at the moment. And, uh, you know, they want that corrugated plastic, the clear stuff, whatever it is. That stuff is expensive. For a sheet, they want a, a 4x8 sheet. They want 56 bucks or something like that, right? I was like, damn, that is pricey. And they don't sell it in smaller sheets. Actually, in my local home, my local place, mine. I was at a job site and it was right next to one so I kind of walked over there it was a Lowe's they just sold it by the sheet however the other place um yeah my one picture like this one picture I don't know what it is I see what you're saying Eduardo every time I change it anything that bumps it it just kind of I think the hooks I gotta fix they're kind of not sitting right whatever I'll get on it someday anyway Long story short, that corrugated plastic stuff is really expensive for a whole sheet. I don't need a whole sheet. I only need like three feet or six inches or something like that, right? 
my local Home Depot, I think, might sell that, but I didn't even check it out. What I found was, <laughs> I should probably just get it out of my car. Let me see if uh, Fishymon's back. No, he was trying to fix his audio. Nope, he's not. Um, yeah. So I went and I was walking around, and then I was looking at where the, what do you call it is, the uh, corrugated roofing. They have clear corrugated roofing. and It's just all sorts of different stuff. Anyway, what I found out is I found some light diffuser panel, like the clear plastic thing that they use in light diffusers. And uh, they were like 15 bucks a, a sheet, like four by two, I think is what they are. However, the ones I were looking at, like all the edges were cracked and stuff like that. So I walked up to the, the counter and I was like, yo, can you do a discount on this? It's broken. I'm like, how about seven bucks? I'm like, all right, that's cool. So I got it. I can cut it, snap it, and I think it'll fit just perfect over that gap. So maybe we'll get into that in a little bit. But, you know, that's just kind of like making a lid. I don't know how funny that is. Or fun that is but uh the other thing we did last week was we uh put my started putting my uh what do you call it freshwater flounder into a brackish setup and that drip acclimated him for a good day like 24 hours I did a community post about it uh the next day i put him in the tank he seemed to be doing all right um two days later i fed him well, not the first day. Anyway, long story short, if you can see eyeballs, let me see if I can make sure that's in focus. And Fishymon is still in my eye, so let's see. There we go. Can you see eyeballs? I can see eyeballs. Maybe we'll feed them and see if we can get them to come out. It's been, uh, I fed them, well, I feed them baby Brian every once in a while. They come out for that, believe it or not. But they really like their black worms. Let me get some. I have a whole little colony going here. Probably could feed them while I'm here, too. Oh, man, my back. I just keep my uh, colony of black worms in a two and a half gallon dish tank. Filled with about an inch of gravel, just the, you know, the aquarium gravel, nothing crazy. And uh, a little sponge filter in there, I have a light, oh geez, I just slapped worms everywhere. That's kind of gross. Anyway, yeah, two and a half gallon, I have a light on it. I got some uh, salvinia floating in there, kind of soak up some nutrients, and uh, I feed it algae wafers. I have a, <laughs> a late night snack last night after that. <laughs> Left my bowl of jello in the sink. <laughs> Whoops. I made jello, man. I was craving it. This dirty water out. Let me see if Kirk's backstage yet. Yes, he is. Hold on here. Copy that. All right. You hear me? Kirk, you there? I don't think he hears me. Hmm. He should be hearing me. Hello? Can you hear me? Yeah, can you hear me? Can you hear me? He can't hear. Yeah. Nope. He's not hearing me, man. Hello? 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 Can you hear me? We hear you, Kirk. Hello? Hello? <laughs> I 
Hello? Am I muted to him? I'm not muted to him. Anyway, I don't think so. Hang on. Testing, testing, testing. It says my audio is broadcasting. Here, let's try this. Is that better? Can you hear me better? Hello? I don't think he hears me. Either way. I think the problem is clearly on his end. I don't know. What's up, dude? But this could be an interesting stream. <laughs> we can't well, hurt if you Kirk can and... hear me. I don't have to hear you. <laughs> see, see what I'm saying, guys. <laughs> I can turn off uh, my mic and just listen to you in delayed reaction. That's so weird. I don't know why you can't hear me. Is it your earbuds, man? Oh, that ain't gonna work. It's so weird. I don't know why you can't hear me. Is it your earbuds, man? No, I, I, I don't think so. I think it's the, uh, the internet. It's so weird. I don't know why you can't hear me. Is it your earbuds, man? No, I, I, I don't think so. I think it's the, uh, the internet. You know, everybody's gonna hear everything like three times now. No, I, I, I You know, everybody's going to hear everything like three times. Though. Oh, it's just going to be endless recursion now. You know, everybody's going to hear everything like three times. Oh, it's just going to be endless recursion now. You know, everybody's going to hear everything like three times. Oh, it's just going to be endless recursion now. Can you hear me? Yes. Can you hear me? <laughs> I don't know what's going on here, man. Let me uh, let me drop off this uh, web service thing and see if uh, it fixes anything. Hey, the dude took off and went flying. I'll be right back. All right, let's get Kirk out of that scene. Oh, he's still there. Let me uh, go here. Yeah, that should have killed his audio. All right. And let's see. I'll go back and rejoin. Maybe that was the problem. I don't know. Maybe it was me. I will do that. Okay. I'll turn on that. Uh, OBS. What happened? I just fell off. Oh, he fell off. I see. Okay, whatever, I'm back there. If he comes back, he comes back. We'll figure it out. I don't know what the deal is. Anyway, sorry about that, folks. Thought we had everything worked out. It's weird that he could hear me and just went dead, right? Makes me think it's like his earbuds or something. Or, I mean, if he's just listening on the laptop... Anyway, I'm trying to clean these worms. There's always so much junk in them. And I got a snail infestation in here too, apparently. I gotta use my snail trap. Which actually works pretty well. Got one of those like little mushroom shaped looking traps off of uh off of Amazon, I think. And it ended up being like a five pack of them. Of course, there's like a ton. Like, the worst part about this worm colony is I have blackbird algae. Shocker, right? And uh, the worms just cling to that algae like their life depends on it. So I can never get them off of it. it takes a while. But I'm not going to worry about that right now because that algae ain't going to live in the brackish. But I don't want to get as many worms as I can. I'll check in a minute to see if Kirk's back there, but give me a sec. Let me finish doing this. Oops. I squirted all those worms back in, you idiot. 
Yeah, good enough on that. Detritus worms, believe it or not, are pretty filthy animals. Or whatever they are. I'm assuming they're animals. They're not minerals or plants. <laughs> or bacteria. <laughs> Green hair algae too. Oh, I see. Alright, whatever, I'm just getting rid of the algae. Some worms are being lost in this process. Alright, whatever. Good enough. Right, let's see if we can find this guy. Oh, he's back again. Man, he's all over the place for you guys today. Alright, he's back. Jessica, I'm back. Well, that's a lot. All right, let me uh, let those worms drop down. Gravity's got to take their their cue. Let me uh, get him back. Can you hear me? Cool. Let me add you back. Oh, he's a happy little dude. Look at him. He knows it's coming. Properties. Okay. Yep, should be back. Ah, oh, finally. Jeez, dude. I don't know what's going on there. I stopped using the buds, and, and it seems to be working better. Yeah, I've noticed that some sometimes those earbuds, man, they have the biggest problem connecting. Mm. Here he goes. Yum. Yeah, he's a, he's a hungry little hippo, isn't he? And he's nomming. Oh, he's like, oh, more. Nom, nom, that, nom. that, like, stand on top of him? Yeah. Like that? They're, 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 uh... Their uh, scales. If you almost, if you look at them, like uh, they have like almost like little spikes that stick out of them, that kind of like cling to stuff like that. So the sand clings to his skin. All right. So he always has like a little blanket of sand. Not always. They, they, they. I mean, they can easily shake it off, but uh, I think a lot of times they leave it on there as like cover. I think it's just a way for them to kind of get in there and. Yeah, but they have like almost like a like a textured. They have a pretty textured skin. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Look at him go, man. A hungry little critter, isn't Dude, he? I fed him, like, I mean, this many. You should see. So you this get, is the brackish tank, right? This is brackish. This has been a week now, so I'm guessing he's okay with it. <laughs> I don't know how many brackish fish can live in, or uh, freshwater fish can live in brackish. Lesson. What's up, buttercup? Take a look at this uh, fish. You can see it has what looks like a pectoral, uh, pectoral fin, yeah. Right? Just a minute ago. Right. Mm. That's a sign of what fish it is. Hang on a second. I'm going to run out and grab my book that I wrote all this stuff down. It's in my car. I'll be oh right back. Oh, my gosh. Okay, you run out, and I'll keep the people in. Sing to them. Sing to them. When the moon's in the sky like a big pizza pie, that's amore. That's all you get today, folks. That's all you get today. That guy is, is decimated them black worms, man. I know how big he is. How much knuckles is he? He's probably only like one knuckle. All right. How big is he? Like one knuckle? Uh, probably two. He's getting pretty big. Um, I have a picture of him too that I was gonna show. Do I have that still open? No, I don't. Um, let me find it real quick. There we go. There we go. Big well, Shrimpin says, my flounder is getting pretty big. Nice. I love them, man. I think they're cool. Let's see. Where's the desktop? Here we go. There's a picture I took yesterday. This flounder is about five inches, he says. Wow. 
Wow. What kind is that? Is that like a hog choker? Did you catch it? Or did you get it from a store? See, I don't think this is a hog choker. I'll tell you why. Uh, yours? Yeah. Because I, what, I wrote this stuff down so I, could, I would remember. Where is my thing? This is not what I was looking at. It's not that. I wrote it down somewhere. All right. A hog choker has a lack of pectoral ray fins. Now, in this picture we're looking at, it certainly looks like there's a pectoral ray fin, right? So that means it would probably be uh, whatever this one. I don't know if there's a common name for it. But these are the ones found in uh, Florida and South, down to like Gulf of Mexico, Argentina way. A, yeah, I think this is what it is. I think it's A. Chiris lineatus. Oh, one of those. Yes. Or there could be a, another one, like an Achyrus. I think Achyrus is how you say that. Or Acherus. Yeah. But usually when they put the A in the Latin, it means without, right? I mean, and it's pronounced A. Chiris. A. I could be wrong about this. It could be Acherus. But... So are they, uh, are they from Canada? No. <laughs> they, no. They don't know. I mean, they could be, you know. Maybe they're ex expatriates. They want to, they moved out. The hog choker. Gotta love it. I know. Greatest name ever. I know. Comes from, oh, uh. Like name them that again? It comes from, uh, the, the early settlers, right? They would catch them off the, they're all off the hog chokers. They're off the coast of, uh, eastern United States. All the way up to, like, Massachusetts, right? All the way down right. to, like, Florida. And then mm. beyond, I think. Anyway. The early setters would catch these things. They were considered like a like a like a throwaway fish, trash fish, because they were real small, very bony, and uh, they would feed them to the pigs, and the pigs would get them stuck in their throat and choke on them because all the bones. So they started calling them hog chokers. Uh, Pretty simple folk here, man. Pretty simple. Anyway, let me uh. So they did they stop feeding them to the pigs? Uh, I don't know. Probably not. It's probably just whatever. Deal with it, pig. <laughs> Wow. I don't know. I wasn't there. Anyway, this guy. He's, uh, probably, I don't know, let me, Monty, stop rubbing your head on my stuff. What are you doing? What are you doing here, Scritchy? He's good two knuckles, man. Yeah. Easily. Yeah. Head to toe. So, I think I'm going to start moving the other ones over there. Over into the brackish? Yeah, and have the whole now, colony here. How would you say the benefits of them being in the brackish are to being in the fresh? From what I understand is uh, they move into the brackish slash salt as they get older. And they will eventually, I guess, mature out. In that in brackish, in brackish, yeah, in brackish or salt. I guess they can go full salt too. So, in other words, they won't breed unless they're in brackish. Yeah, I think that's, and then they, yeah, I think that's one of the. the actually, there's not a lot known about this, so not a lot of people have researched this. So, Alexander is asking, uh, do Mom, they eat doing? live blackworms? You just saw them. They were live when I stuck them in there. Jeremy says pig abuse is real, people. <laughs> Choking hogs sounds like spanking a monkey. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so if these are those, they I lack... hog choker for ya. <laughs> but it's not a hog choker. We just determined that, right? It lacks the pectoral ray fins. Or it, mm. hog chokers lack that, So, but this has it. So right, it can't right. be a hog choker. That little frilly thing on this on the. I'm uh, assuming that looks like a pectoral ray fin, right? That looks like mm -hmm. a, a evolution of where you know how these it's things like form. The picture, right? Yes, and you could see it in the video when we were uh, when he was turning around there. You could kind of see that same fin. So I'm thinking that's the uh, the pectoral because the the pectoral fins move to the edge, the ones that have them, and it becomes part of their like frill or whatever you want to call that thing. Uh, so, says, um, pigs have been 
turned into dice. Turned into what? Dice. Pigs have been turned into pig dice? I don't know. Random roll. There are also other kinds of uh, species that are in here. The I guess, what is it? The family A. Caridae is one of the typical ones. There's also Cyanoglossidae yeah, and uh, Solidae. Peplin says we can call it a hog choker anyway. <laughs> it identifies as a hog choker. That's funny. Ooh, well, that algae's at the top here. Let me suck that right off. Yeah. And um, Richard is saying we get the freshwater sole in uh, southwest Florida as well. Yeah, southwest. So that would probably be these kind of same ones, right? The ones with the pectoral rays. If I remember, it would be the east coast where the hog chokers would be found. And the west coast it's, it's where the bees, the other ones, start the range. And the problem is they're very similar, so they're hard to identify. I wanted to get them plants last night, and you outbid me, man. Man. Those were nice plants, too. They were. They were. The last two in particular I was really interested in. Speaking of hog choker, where's Patty this morning? <laughs> <laughs> you might invoke the wrath, man. You're only going to get more wrath. All right. That was a funny one, Peplin. That was good. That wasn't Peplin, was it? Yeah, it was. Are you sure? I thought I just said... Totally lost it. Where'd it go? Peplin. Said it. Oh yeah, I guess he did. Good luck, dude. <laughs> um, Nilo Galassi says, "I feel like we have, I feel like we have identified this fish. Congratulations, great job, team." See, but it could be two. It could be three other types, other than the hog choker. Uh, just accept the congratulations and. We're on the way to identifying this fish. Let's put it that way. I have a little black shadow following me everywhere today. It says yes, the Gulf side. Yeah. All right. From what I remember, the hog chokers are just up and down the East Coast. I think they actually go down to South America way, but I could be wrong. But they don't do the... No, I don't think they do. Actually, yes, they do. Keith wants to know, I gotta is look. a hog choker the same as a chicken choker? <laughs> Probably not. Not at all, uh, Keith. Not at Completely all. different. Okay. And uh, Big Shimpin says, I'll ask my LFS. I got it from... He's pretty good... On la la Latin Latin names. That's cool. Yeah, definitely ask. I'm curious. And if yours has uh does it have that pectoral ray fin too? Do you know? That's really there's really from when I when I was reading, they're really hard to identify. You know, certain characteristics like some have that ray, some have uh, eyes on one side, left hand or right hand. Anyway. Yours has eyes on one side, right? Yeah, and if uh, you were to look at the fish, if it was standing on its end, like a normal fish would be, what side are the eyes on? That's uh, what left-handed... on the left side. Uh, yeah, I think... Yeah. Yes. No, yes. Left side. Yes. Yes, left side. I had to remember where his mouth was. Um, He's going nuts on those worms, man. He loves them. Window Liquor says Patty was pretty lit yesterday. Probably <laughs> sleeping it off. <laughs> maybe. Oh, maybe. This little guy's quite active this morning. 3G says port or starboard? Starboard. 
or boat. No, that would be port. I don't know. Port is, uh, the way I remember this is port is the same noun in the letters as left. And that's what it means. Okay. And starboard is on the right. But the reason it's called starboard is actually, I don't even want to get in. Do we want to get into this? It used to be called larboard. And it was where the rudder was. You would sit there and you would hold the rudder off that one side. And it was called a larboard. Right. And at some point it became starboard. Yes. So the starboard side is where the rudder was on like small little sail, like whatever, fishing vessels, fishing ships. And Way uh, back when they first started building boats. <laughs> for the chat, why haven't you hit the like button? That's a good question, man. He says, port left, starboard is right. Yep. Wow, Keats a, a, a... Port has the same amount of numbers as left. So four letters, four letters, port and left. Okay, you already explained that. I know, that's so you got to remember this, right? And I know you had to write L on your hand to remember which one. <laughs> no, I, I usually just hold up my right hand and do the writing sim, writing thing. Then I, I remember, okay, this is right. This is my right hand because you write with your right? Yeah. But what if you're left-handed? Well, I'm not, so. Well, I guess that was pretty convenient. You know... <laughs> Anyway, I'm left-handed, so everything's backwards to me all the time. 3G says using the stars to navigate. Yeah. Imagine doing that. And uh, Jeff, I mean, uh, Keith says uh, stern is front, back is back. Yep. Well, Keith's, uh, like, what is he? Uh, an, oh, he's, Wait, stern? He was in the Navy. Hmm. Well, there you go. That it, <laughs> At least you learned something in Navy. <laughs> that explains your your um love for semen. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> That's horrible. Now, I'm gonna clean some of these worms out. But still. Dirty worms. What, your black worm colony? Oh, yeah. Black worm colony? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Heck, yeah. Apparently, uh, black worms are hard to get. I've heard. Right now? I guess I got to make sure I feed my colony. Make sure it stays. Do a little maintenance. Uh, get me twisted, Keith. I do not. I do not. What's the matter? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Mm. Big shrimp thing. He got his fat ass side. Look at the aft on that thing. Uh, when the liquor says the clash is coming up, Jason, are you going to escape a team to, to escape as a team with Fishimon? Um, I don't know if team play is allowed in that competition. Nobody oh another moderator hand on that. Kirk is an aft. <laughs> hey, look. He decided to hang on. I need two hands. Oh, there's, uh, there's, um, is that the freshwater one? Or no, it? that's, uh, he just came off the glass. That's still a brackish tank. All right. Let me fix the focus on this. No, it's going to yes, go whacked out. Yes, please do. Please do. Oh, what a night it really was. Yes, indeed. I don't know why this song has been stuck in my head for days. We can zoom in, I guess. Let's see if we can focus on the glass. Yee. Look, you can really see the pectoral right there. Yeah. That's a pretty good picture right there. Look at this little guy. It's living the dream. So, yeah, I don't know of any fish that 
the freshwater fish that can live in brackish for over a week and not have any problems. So I think I think we've determined this is a brackish fish. Or at least can be. So we'll see. Next. It's, uh, maybe we should try and catch another one. Start acclimating it. Should we do them one at a time? That could take a long time. Take a month. Uh, I would say your fish up to you. Mmm. I'm not going to tell you how to do your fish. I like the idea of doing one at a time only because I think it would help me identify. Like if some of them have that thin or not. And some could be hog, hog jokers and, and some maybe not. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I mean, it could. It could. You know what? All right, why don't we just, instead of doing that, let's move this camera. I'm just going to move this over, guys. Bear with me. We're going to go for a ride. Okay, the ride's over. Um, Bruiser wants me to sing a bit of Dreamweaver for you. <laughs> uh, oh, that song. I, I think I've told this story before, but man, I had a... Uh, I was in a grocery store one time, and that song was playing, right? And for like the next two months, that song played in my head endlessly. I was like, I was ready to go mad. Whoops, um, what did I just do? Killed my camera. I don't know. Uh, Big Shrimpin says, uh, Yes, indeed. Honestly, I kind of don't want to know, don't want to do it now. I've never done an aquascape competition before, so I never, it never dawned on me teams could be allowed. I'll I don't still do it, but no hopes for winning. You know what? Are you? Are you? I'm guessing you're in the aquascaping contest at the Clash. I don't remember. I don't think I ever looked at all the names that were in it. I just know that I got a ticket. Um, but yeah, do, dude, don't worry about it, man. I mean, I don't go in there to win. I go in there to escape a tank and think it's cool. Believe, Have fun. Believe me, he doesn't win. I didn't win. I got like a 78 on my tank. I think it was what the average score was, something like that. So a C plus, <laughs> but I like it. I think it's a cool tank. All right, let's see. Can we see any of the flounders just hanging out on the surface here? The Oliver Anthony song has been doing that for a week. Oliver Anthony. I don't know what that is. Death Gain says free tank. Free? Well, it's not free. You got to pay seventy-five bucks to be in the competition, and then you get the tank. Yeah. Last year it was only like twenty-five, but then they raffled the tank off. So. But that tank doesn't cost seventy-five dollars in the store, does it? It's probably more, actually. I mean, it's one of those rimless, uh, low iron glass. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. It's probably more expensive. Yeah, and if I remember, you got the tank, the heater, the filter that it had was one of those Awaze filter heater combos. I don't know what they're. I don't know what's happening this year, as far as that goes. But you had a filter, heater combo, a hang on the back. Uh, they gave you a, a Hyger light, the tank, and you got to keep and everything it's what, put in it. Twenty nine gallon tank. No, it's like a seventeen. I think it's like it's like a ten, but a little taller or a little bigger, wider. It's basically a bigger tent. It's like I think it was 17 gallons is what the the specs were. Okay, I thought it was 29. No, it's definitely not 29. I'm pretty sure it was 17. And uh, uh, Keith's asking, is it worth 75 bucks? Yeah. Well, here we can look at it. Let me put the other camera on it. You tell me. What you could do is Google the the tank. Yes. And see what it's actually selling for I'm trying to remember Aaron let's see if we can get an actual like look at beat on the tank here from we'll do it like topish down there we go Eduardo said it had an earthquake everything's off it's because my whole floor is uneven <laughs> and if I keep the legs like standard everything leans so I have to like adjust the legs 
Big Shrimpin says uh, the tank is 185 on Petco. Okay, well, there you go. Definitely worth 75 I guess, retail. You're paying retail, it is. And uh, Scotty the Fish Freak says, uh, Steve, just do it and have a good time and enjoy the tank and equipment and supplies you get with it. Jen will help you, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. It was a great yeah, time, man. Just hanging out. To look into teams next year. Big Shrimp and you hang out in the, at our end of the where You know, pick the tank close to us. It was me, Ed, ABC Biotope. Um, there was somebody else there. I can't remember. Uh, Jeremy, I think it was, from CCY. Yeah, we just had a good time just hanging out in that corner. Tank is almost the same as last year. Low iron, rimless, 17s. And we weren't all like gun-ho competition either. We were actually just like, oh, you need this here, man. Take it. You, know, you want this? You want to do that? We were just kind of helping each other out. So it was, it was, it was low stress, man. Let's put it that way. And you have like, I don't know, like eight hours or something like that to, to escape it. Some crazy amount of time. I don't know. I did the best I could. Oh, I put the camera there and I never switched it, did I? No, we're still looking at that. Tiger Light, uh, Os Osa. There we go. Osa. Owaze. Owaze. That's how we pronounce that. Yeah, that's a Owaze. I think is what they are. Anyway, there's the tank right there. It's got a bobber. It's my. I put my mop in there. The only thing in that tank currently is a neon, blue neon goby and blue dream shrimp. I did have my bed in there, but he died. That was a while ago. Where is the cheap corner again? What? Cheap corner? Cheap corner. Oh, you mean at the <laughs> at the Clash? Place where they have, like, the, the dollar table? <laughs> I don't know what he Get means. the crowd involved. Yeah. Now, we had a good time, New Loco. It was fun. So, yeah, don't worry there, uh, big shrimping. Just hang tight. We're low stress. Yeah, apparently, uh, teams you win, you are win. not allowed, so. Yeah, I kind of figured that. So I'll just have to whisper in your ear. <laughs> I'll just have to be the voice in your uh, head. Oh, we could do, like, like the, the, the FBI. I have, like, I'll have an yeah. earpiece. Earpiece. <clears throat> and I could tell you, no, no, a little to the right. Put that rock a little to the right. And then, uh, or you can... <laughs> Did you hear about that chess competition where the guy had something up his butt <laughs> that would vibrate oh. in a pattern? <laughs> and this guy caught him cheating. Yeah, that's extreme, right? Maybe we need to look into that. <laughs> Sorry. That was a joke. Waze. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Yeah, uh, it was, you know, you don't see that, that filter on this tank at the moment, do you? Because it was... He uh, says, I talked to some of the scapers as I walked through. I may have <laughs> made a suggestion, LOL. Yeah. Well, you know, there's nobody stopping you. I don't think it's being policed from, you know, people walking by and going, hey, you should do that. Hey, you should do this. Uh, Window Liquor 5 is saying, uh, what about a Saturday morning cartoon stream with all the peeps at the Clash? Would be epic. Let's see. Let's see. Um, yeah, well, we'll figure out who's all there. But Jeff uh says, oh, Fishy Man could enter on his own. Yeah, those tickets went quick, dude. They were, yeah, it was like sold out in like an hour, a couple hours. Out. I saw the email and I was like, yo. Yeah, but I don't, I don't like doing stuff under pressure anyhow. You know what I mean? I just did it for fun. So, that's where I'm at. It is pressure though. I can understand. I'm a little nervous about it. But you know, at the end of the day, I think I'm going to do it. I'm going to walk in like I did last year. With just like this attitude, like it's going to be whatever I make it. And then I'm just going to, you know, as long as I'm happy with it, I'm happy. Yeah. I don't have to win. 
That's just there to have fun. Yeah, some people yes, indeed. Yeah, some people go crazy, man. But, I mean, at the end of the day, you are in a competition, and I can understand trying to win it. But, you know, I had some ideas, but, you know, it's kind of how do you plan said, for an aquascape that you don't know what said, any of this uh, stuff is? Tanks are too tall for a uh, fishy mind escape. <laughs> you know? That's why they invented step stools, Keith. There's plenty of buckets laying around. I'm sure you could stand on one. Yeah. I could tape. A bucket to each foot and just, you know, <laughs> use them as stilts. Or you could do... Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> what Jeff said. What do you say? Keith, Keith let, let him borrow your step stool. <laughs> There you go. And uh, 3G wants to know anyone else having problems with Super Chat? I didn't even know. Wait a minute. Oh. I think the only thing on here is Super Stickers. And Eduardo just dropped one for 20 bucks. It says number one. Thank you, Eduardo. You're number one, Jason. Number Bye. one. Let's give some hearts. Let's give some trumpets. Whatever those are. There we go. Do 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 do. All right. Thank you, Eduardo. But uh, it looks like it's working for him. And thank you. Wait, why am I? They're called construction boots, Keith, not heels. <laughs> All right, I'm still trying to see if I can find a flounder in here. I like to do this kind of like. That's a freshwater. Right? This is the freshwater tank. Oh, I see one. I think I see one. I see one. And you gotta be real slow because you spook these guys. They're like lightning fast. I tried getting rid of my uh, black beard yesterday, but I didn't have uh, um, any uh, peroxide. Peroxide. So I um, you really I just are in my head. It off in the sink. All the uh, moss I could get off the wood, I yeah. just washed it off into the back. Here. So basically, you broke all the spores up, so it'll 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 uh, grow exponentially now. No, I washed it off in the in this in the sink. Mm. Should have bleached it. And uh, I just broke the leaves off from the uh, from the boost that had the um, the black beard on it. Now it only has two leaves. Okay, let's see if we can do this. I didn't kill it. Yeah, my as you can see, my abuse. Uh, is currently floating in the air, covered in blackbird algae. Covered in blackbird. <laughs> Maybe we could try to rescue this. I don't know. Let's pull some of this blackbird off. Oh, pull the leaf. I think that's going to be the problem. I'm going to pull all the leaves off before I pull the blackbird off. There we go. <laughs> they got green hair algae everywhere, too. Look at this. My goodness. Wow. Oh my goodness. Oh, it ain't over yet. <laughs> it's all back here, too. And this is just the algae. The green air. Mm. Let's see if we can save this. Save what? I think this is bulbitis. It's just covered in the hair algae. Covered in all sorts of algae. It's like uh, it's like string cheese. You can't like, or not string cheese, uh, just like melty cheese. When you start pulling it, it just keeps coming and coming. Good morning. Coming, coming. Good morning, Masky. And uh, 
Ed Eduardo says, try not to take the shrimp with you. Yeah, I will. Let's get the shrimp out of there. I'm pretty sure there's a flounder right there. Yep. Got a lot of sand in there too, but I'm pretty sure he's in there. We'll see. Let's get that snail out. Get that algae I'm out. Dead. I'm eating granola and see his uh, tail. berry muffins. There he be. See him? Got a lot of sand in there. Bruiser CB says, how many shrimp did you just pull out? It looks like none. But I do think maybe I should get a better bite on this fish and not so much sand. Come on, dude. Uh, looks like he's got that pectoral ray too, so I'm going to say he's the same fish. All right, well, let's... more than likely they let's all came this. from the same place at the pet shop. That's highly probable. I would... You think they're wild caught? Yes. I do. Because I don't think anybody's tank or farming these. Farm raising freshwater flounders. I don't know. I'm pretty sure that's what I read or read is that like there's not a lot known about how they reproduce. Good morning, Mexico. Some people have gotten them to to reproduce. Jesus, come on out. There we go. Just trying to get some of these stupid sand out. Alright, that's good. Let's put him back in. Let's get rid of the algae. <laughs> Maybe we can find another one since we've determined that that is kind of the very similar, if not the same species. But the problem is now I gotta figure out where they are, and I have no clue. No clue. You're clueless. I'm clueless. So, unless I wanna root Let around in the sand. Seattle. Unless I wanna root around in the sand, I should probably not do that. And just wait till I see them and snag them. Yeah, but then you can't put them in the same specimen container for acclimation because it'll be at a different point of acclimation already with that first one. Yeah, so I'll do this one. I'll drip them in. I'll do the same thing. Take like a day. Put them in. I just waited a week because I wanted to, you know, show you guys. Do this together. But I don't have to wait... Oh, you wanted to do it together. <laughs> That's right. Oh. Keep you guys in the... Silver Creek Aquatics is here. That's right. Is this where the cool kids hang out? Uh-oh. Because I'm looking for nerds. Did I just lag out? I uh, hope not. Good morning. Please hit that like. According to Nightbot. And subscribe if you haven't. If you haven't noticed, I'm getting real close to a thousand. Real close. Yeah. I'm like 16 I'm away. I'm gonna have a. I don't know. I guess we'll see. We'll have to wait and see. Okay. Let's. Yeah, so close. So close. So close. Let me see where so am I? Far. Does it say where I'm at? Jenny Lynn, good morning. Jenny Lynn, what's going on? Jenny Lynn, are you guys going, Bruiser? Are you guys going to the clash? Last I talked, I thought you were. No, I thought there wasn't. Really? That's depressing. Yeah, it's something up. That's depressing. What am I doing over here? I'm looking for my pump. I have one of these, uh, they're called, it's... Been away from a thousand. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Closing in. Closing in. Here we go. Talked about this last week. But we'll take a look at it again. This is what an aqua lifter. It's basically a, what do they call it, a dosing pump? Jennifer Weaver is here, too. Morning, Jennifer Weaver. Good morning, Jen. I believe you're going to the clash. I'll see you there. 
I believe you're supposed to be bringing some presents too. We'll see. <laughs> And uh, yeah, hang on. One end of the pump goes in the tank, the other end goes into the thing, and you get the power cord. And Jenny Lynn says, No, our <coughs> son is getting married this oh. before, so we won't be able to make it. Tell your kid to put that wedding off. This is more important. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. That's a good reason, I guess. And I always let the bleed out here. Spit water all over the floor. Clear out the line. Should probably do that over this. And just remember, Jenny, you're not losing a son, you're gaining a daughter. There you go. And I'll just set the drip rate real low, right? I don't know if you can see it dripping. That's too much. I want it nice and slow. That's probably too slow. Make that, it bleed. That's, that seems good. Okay. We'll do that, and we'll let him drip like that for quite a while. Now next. And uh, Jennifer says, I do have something, Jason. Sweet. Bring a mug to the class. And I'll trade for one of you, Ooh. one of mine. Okay. I gotta write this down because uh, takes a, the smugs are not instantaneous. So let me write this down. Mug. Jennifer Weaver. Mug for. Not funny, Keith. Oh, if it's if you don't think it's funny, it probably really is. Hang on. Oh. All right, um, and that reminds me, I just saw this thing I wrote down earlier. Batwing eggs, you know what they are? What, batwing eggs? Batwing eggs. This is something I just thought about. I think I've seen these before, but they're, uh, they're egg-shaped. They're these things called, uh... I love you, Tiki. Uh, a batwing egg is, a, is like a, f a thing in physics, I guess. It's like a, a maximum surface area object let's see if i can google one and pop it up but these things would be great if you could make them out of some like like a ceramic or something like that would be great for shrimp they would love it bat wing egg never heard of it in my life let's see yes here they are people have been 3d printing these things but and uh, Silver Creek says, I only know of Batwing from actual <laughs> bats on the move. On okay. the movie, wait, waiting. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's that, too. These things are, what they're called is, uh, I can't remember the name of the object, but what it is is apparently there's some sort of uh, mathematical property that maximizes the surface area of these objects. Like every little fold has like as much surface area as physically possible right so these things would be great especially if you can minimize these these would be great for like biomedia huh. and and definitely great for shrimp right i think because yeah. there's a ton of surface area there's so much surface area that's the whole point of these things is uh and what are these normally made out of uh i've seen them made out of like silicone and stuff like that i, I i'm assuming you can make them out of almost anything uh, i just don't know how you make them this one looks 3D printed, shapeways. All right. Yeah. So there's an idea. I mean, that's the future right there. Whoa. Didn't mean to close that. You can see the secrets. All right. Uh, uh, he says bat wing eggs cause the corona. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to shot coffee out my nose. <laughs> Maybe, maybe they did. 
All right, well, here's a way to... Nah, I don't think I should feed them and then move them. That's so not a good deal. But I am going to feed them. For, for shrimp, you say? No, I was... I don't know. I mean, if people aren't making them for shrimp, somebody should because I think that's a great so idea. Is this a decorative thing, then? I think there's a thing in... Yeah, they are decorative. I don't know of any practical use for them other than, like, what I just said. Yeah. If you needed the maximum surface area on something, those are the objects, like, it's an object that contains the most surface area. So. Mm. Well, if you make them out of ceramic, they sure. definitely will uh, be able to harbor bacteria. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm saying, but man. I don't okay. think it's... it's how can you make that out of ceramic? You know, it's like... You'd have to, yeah, it would have to be printed. You'd have to, something. unless you had some sort of like a, like a 3D printer that could print with that material, or I'm sure there's a way. Look, man, they're making 3D printers that can print metal now, okay? Oh, yeah? Yeah. Tech is moving, dude. All right, I just put food in here for these guys. We're going to leave these guys alone for the rest of the day. Alishan says, like, Fabergé eggs. Kinda. So probably, uh, you know, less art involved. I have a bunch of black worms left over. I should feed my baddest. That's a good idea. Whoa! The new local Austin says, Easter is going to rock this year. <laughs> Yeah, you ain't Isn't wrong. Easter already passed? Well, it, it comes every year. This year it's gone, but next year, I think it meant this coming Easter. Mm. You know? Either that or new local Austin's living in the past. <laughs> hey, man. And the uh, window looker says bio balls are plastic. Why not? Those bat ball, bat, those bat wings. <laughs> bat ball. <laughs> bat wings. Yeah, that's a good call. Maybe I'm looking at seeing what you got to do to 3D print them. But uh, I think they'd be better for shrimp, honestly. It's just got, I, that's what I'd be more interested in. The practicality of using them as a... What do you call them? Shrimp tech. Or, uh, I don't know, shrimp hide, whatever. And uh, Big Shrimpin is saying that you have to be some kind of genius to understand what they're saying about those bat egg, bat wing eggs. Yes. Yeah, I don't understand the whole, I understand that the, the whole surface area idea, but I don't understand like how or what the point or how they generated it mathematically. I believe it's a mathematical generation that does it too. I don't know. And uh I'm not that smart. The freak is saying that there's a company that has 3D printed a rocket. Nice. And I don't mean a hobby rocket. <laughs> I mean one that travels into space. They went with the method because it completely seals the entire system. Yeah, I'm guessing that's probably important for uh, space rust but it says several people have seen my bat wing <laughs> I don't know if we needed to know that but thanks for sharing <laughs> and uh, Eduardo is telling me that bat wings not bat balls. Totally different mediums. <laughs> Alright, I'm trying to get this camera. This is one of the hardest tanks to I film. I was watching at, a documentary so last night about bats. Where are you? Well, these hmm. bats in um, Africa that congregate on uh, this little strip of forest on the Congo. Congo River. They Interesting. Congregate to uh, mate and to um, gorge themselves on some fruit that 
that is plentiful at some particular time of year. Thousands and thousands of fruit bats. Bats. Yeah. Boop, boop, they look boop, like boop, little boop, flying boop. foxes. Nice. Yeah, they do have that fox-like face. All right. Here is the baddest tank with the salt and pepper cories. What do they call them? Habrosis. Big Shrimpin says triple peridaric. What? Peridaric. Minimal surface. Triple periodic minimal surface. There we go. <laughs> Whatever that means. <laughs> Certainly not a genius, so I have no clue. But I think it's a good idea. I think it's a good idea to. Mm, probably should have kept it to myself and marketed this. But who am I? So right now they're just being used as a decorative item. I, I would assume. I don't know what the heck else you're using them for. I have no idea what their purpose is. But I saw it and said, hey, that would make a really good shrimp thing or bacteria. Right. You could shrink it down to like, yeah, like, you know, like maybe media sized or yeah. five eighths of an inch. That'd be really hard to I print that small. As medium. I don't think my printer could do that small. A moving, um, at least not filter. that fine. Moving bed filter, but you know, you you already got stuff like um, what they call it. Um, What's the, those things that float around in... in uh, the bio balls? No, the other one, the white ones. And they it's supposedly <coughs> other, the, like the greatest uh, floating bed media. I don't have those. I know you don't have them. I thought you I said I had them. them. No, I never said you had them. I heard you say I had them. Whatever. You know, forget it. Forget just forget, forget about it. it. Forget about it. I'm trying to feed this badass, and he's like, Is there food in this tank? Oh, he sees it now. Bam. And uh, Eduardo says, market it, Jason, and you'll sell out ASAP. Yeah, maybe. you got to make them out of some surface. You know, I don't think people are going to be buying huge plastic things, but maybe you can make a mold. That would be a good idea. Huh. Pour them out of the cement or something. Well, cement would degrade. I don't know. I have a thousand ideas. K1. Jeez. K1. What is K1? Is K1 is the, the, the media that supposedly is the, the best uh, floating oh. bed medium. No idea, man. I believe... You've never heard of it, K1? No, no. It's those little white ones. The little white ones. Like, you know. I guess. I believe you, man. I trust you. Whatever. Doesn't mean I... I mean, I don't go around, like, G -G paying attention to media. reminded me of the name, K1. Well. I guess... I'm guessing they're expensive. Uh, Joey used them in several of his uh, DIY. Uh, mm. You know, they put them in like the the uh, those sponge filters that aquarium co-op sells with the little moving bed portion at the bottom of it. Oh, okay, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. That's in there. That that's what that media inside of it is. Yes. Oh, I got gotcha. you. Uh, yeah. It's a little plastic thing and it's supposed yeah. to have a lot of surface area. Yeah. But I don't know if this bat wing, the bat wing <laughs> egg or whatever it is, has more than that. Jeez. Bet you it does, considering it's science is what tells us it. You don't know Jack. <clears throat> so. This is That's true. I got to say. You don't know if K1 has more than that. You don't know. I don't know. I don't know, but I know that uh, those uh, batwing eggs are supposedly mathematically the most that you can get. So, 
Yeah, Alishan says uh, you circulate them in a two-liter uh, soda bottle. Yeah, water. I had one of those. Uh, this, actually, I gave one of them away like a long time ago. I had an extra one. I bought. I had two. I used it. I had it going in my. Uh, I had my original 55 gallon that was set up. I had it in there. That was. Uh, that was a long time ago. But uh, it worked. It was fine. I had no problems with it. I just didn't like how big they were. They were kind of like, you know, I don't know. Uh, kind of unsightly in the tank, let's put it that way. G says, for a fluid bed to work properly, the filter media needs to be equivalent to tank size, give, an, give or take. That means you need a, a mega sump. Like, if you got a 125-gallon Mega sump! You need like a hundred and twenty five gallon or at least enough to you know. Okay, these guys have been fed. I don't know if we saw the baddest eat on screen or not, but I saw them eat. Cause apparently why they say it's so good is that the the constant moving of the uh, K one, they bang into each other and they and it, it um sloughs off dead bacteria or whatever or the old bacteria and, and promotes growth of new bacteria all the time sandman filters mr sandman yeah those uh whatever deep sand whatever couldn't give them away oh i know what you're talking about they did the kind of yeah, same they- idea right like Things perked up through the sand. I don't know. Yeah, wasn't it uh, like sand in a in a? If I a, could have sand, and it's a filter like in a bottle, was, um, moving the the flow of water, move the sand around, or something like that. Yeah, Is that it? I think. Uh, I don't know. Some of that stuff always seemed like a gimmick to me, so I never bought into it. All right. Those guys are fed. Now, the only other thing that I really think I should be doing here is I have... That stands in an hourglass. So are the days of our lives. So are the days of our lives. I have these, uh... Cyanodorsalus fry. This I'm going to grab. We're going to move. Is that pygmy quarries in there? Yes. And habrosis. And habrosis is also known as a pygmy quarry. Right? It is a yeah. It, it's not the pygmaeus, which right. is what the other one is. But uh, they are considered a, a a nano or a pygmy type of quarry. You know how they're a full lot size. Of so yeah. Pygmy quarries uh, like like swim mid water a lot. Mine though. They they can. They do like this weird thing where they all kind of like line up and they all just kind of start swimming around. Like Sholin, I guess is the word. Yeah. I've seen them do it. They'll kind of do it like when they're all kind of like in a pack sometimes. Yeah. I don't know if they're doing it as like a protection thing I or a hunting thing. I think probably breed in, in my planted tank because... Sorry guys, this is probably rocky as hell. I've put... Yeah, it's like you're all over the place. Sorry. Like... I was trying to get the... Let's do this. You're not sorry. I'm not sorry. Things happen. There we go. Should be more stabilized now. <laughs> I'm gonna catch these little fry out, and I'm gonna put them in with the with the parents. They're big enough. They're not gonna get eaten. Um. Yes. Jeff is saying that his pygmy quarries swim around like a bait ball. Oh, Jesus. Like a bait ball? Midwater? Oh. I don't know. I'm asking, Jeff, do they swim midwater or, or like close to the, the uh, substrate? That's a good question. 
All right, let's see and, if we can uh, catch these. Stability is important in the the relationship of a tank maintenance. Yeah, says I agree with that. This is Wardo, and Jeff says mid Wardo. Mid water. Swardo. Let's go back here and see if we can chase them forward. Yeah, mine do not swim around mid water. Not a lot. Now, every now and again, I'll see one or two, but for the most part, I usually see them, you know, like close to the. Um, media. You know, sand bottom. The sand bottom? Mm. I caught two of them. Actually, I caught three of them. Actually, I caught four of them. Wow. If you say, actually, I caught five of them, I'm going to slap you. Whoa! I almost lost one. <laughs> yeah, there's definitely four in there. Cool. That was easy. There's one left. Um, there's one. There, I see you. <laughs> I see you, little dude. Is I got quite a few of them in that tank, Jeff. Um, I would say at least 20 or more in that tank. And uh, I don't ever see them schooling. The only time I see them schooling is like if a female, I guess, is... I'm lost. Where you go? Receptive or whatever. And, and they got a bunch of males chasing her around. I gotta move this camera. I can't get into this tank with this camera here. Just pointing, I guess. Where did he go? I saw him yuking around and then he just... Oh, there he is. So, what is this tank? Brackish? Yes. And you're gonna move them to the other Brackish tank? This is the... Remember when I reset that Moved my cyanodorsalis colony to the other to that ten gallon where I just put the flounder in. Right. Come out of the stupid thing! You. He does not want to leave this net. There we go. Um, well, I left this tank sitting nope, empty, and uh, right. like a couple days later, I started seeing fry in there. So they had some eggs that hatched. Right. So I just let them grow up. I figured they needed to get big anyway. So there's five of them in there. That's the only thing in this tank. So that me, is a lot of algae. Well, yeah, but I mean, if I move the adults or the fry to where the adults are, then I free up a 10 gallon tank that I can do all sorts of stuff with. Maybe I keep it brackish? I don't know. But I don't think I will. I might change this one. Most of my tanks are on the verge of being on this stuff. That's why I do so much water changes. Yeah, well, yeah, and your plant load is pretty high, too, so that really helps. You know, that helps a lot. What's that thing that Dustin Fish Tanks always says about uh, if you have, like, 75% plants in your tank, you're going to be fine? Mm. Something like that. So I can't remember what the ratio is, but I it's a high know, number. I don't, I don't know either. And, okay. um, Let me uh, swap cameras. The liquid says, I like feeding my cichlid tank. When when it's feeding <clears> time, <throat> it reminds me of how many fish are in there. And they attack it in a bait ball of color. No food hits the, the bottom. Oh, I see. Just freaking out. All right, let's go back over here. Amisa is here. Good morning. Thanks for being here. We're moving fish. Where is my... There it is. I'm going to test the parameters. We'll see how brackish it is. We'll see how brackish it is. Let's test this tank first. Yeah. 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 So you can see how brackish it is. Let's see where we're at. The brackish is the brackish ability. The brackability? This is one point oh one five. I have a feeling the one that the fryer in is probably gonna be a little higher because I haven't done anything to that tank in a couple of weeks. The evaporation you yeah. mean? Yeah. I did add some 
RO water in there at one point because it was getting a little low. So that might have thinned it, but that was a while ago. So it's probably high. We'll see. Probably high. Eh, it's not too bad. It's only like, yeah, like 1.0155, 56 maybe? Or 1.6. So only a, uh, a tick off, one part per million. Million? Tick. Billion? Tick. Like a dog tick or a dare tick? Or like a uh, clock tick. Or would that be a talk? <laughs> oh. Clock talk. It could be a tick <laughs> or a talk. It could be one or the other. So these guys are good. Depends I don't know whether it's coming or going. I'm just going to make sure they're the same temp. They're probably even very similar already. Waddle says his Emperor Tetras are breeding. Whoa. His? Yeah. Who said that? A breeding. Junky females and chasing males. Oh, Eduardo said that. Cool. Nice. Yeah, Eduardo. Chunky females. Chunky females. Okay. I was like, why are they chunky? Chunky females. That makes more sense. Yeah, he got... Yo, you gotta look at these. That chunky females. Take a look at these guys. These are the cyanodorsalists. I don't know. Can you what? guys... Whoa. See how colored up they are? Yeah. Um, and these are the cyanodorsalis. These are brackish. All right. This is the time of the day these guys are really fired up usually. Maybe they're. So I gotta this take a water change of these guys. They're horny. Yep, you could see them. They were digging around in that mop. I can actually see eggs on that mop right here. Have you been trying to to raise the fry? I haven't done anything in a while. There's some fry down here, in the fresh. But I've also mixed some other fish in here with them, so I don't know what's, what's in here nowadays. What's your problem? Are you, like, busy with other stuff, or what? What is yeah. your problem? I, I, yeah. Actually, I don't even see the cyanodorsalis in here anymore. I don't know how well they're doing fresh water. Like, every time I put them in here, I get a colony of, like, three or four, and then they just kind of dwindle down to nothing. So, I don't know if they're just not handling the fresh water as well or maybe they don't like how my water is without the salt i don't know you don't know these are questions that need answers and i did stick some mops in some other tanks but it's only been a couple of days so i don't think anything's gonna hatch to make or has hatched yeah. say your name three oh, times three times <laughs> yeah It's like yes, Beetlejuice. Patty Petite Tags. Patty Petite Tags. Patty Petite Tags. <laughs> You've killed us all. No. Yeah, so. Let's go back and here. It just says, Jason, I remember that mop how long it has been submerged. That one? How long has it been submerged? Uh, I did swap it not too, well, relatively long ago. It's been a while. It's been in there probably for a good month or it's so. It's been a while. It's been a while. I guess we could take a look. I gotta do a water change in this tank anyway, man. It's been a while. It's been a while. It's been a while. <laughs> oh, that one female's looking rough. Let's well, take this mop out. Bad ratio. Too much males to <gasps> Whoa. Whoa. I just totally went in the water. It sank. What, the mop? No, the light. <laughs> the tiger light, I just dropped in the water. Yo, there are so many eggs in this mop. Holy smokes. And the fish are just eating them now. Because you just... Actually, yeah. from my experience, they don't eat their eggs. Wow, there are a lot of eggs in here. What should I do with this? I should stick Put this in the in tank. That. Put it in that tank that you just... Uh, took all them... Out of. Yeah, I could do that. I should fill that up, though. At least yeah. do a water change on it. Whatever. Or, hmm, yes, we should do that. We're going to do that. I guess we'll keep this tank brackish, then. Yeah. Yeah! My green terrors. Did I just see another um, fish? Window looker saying, my green terrors. I'm surprised. 
he doesn't just slurp up one of the small cichlids, but he doesn't. Just a good tank boss. Just a great tank boss. Two cichlids got go at it. He swims over, and it's like nothing going on here, boss. Green Terra is a nice fish. Yeah, they're pretty cool. Two different types, I think. Probably should have did the water change before I put the mop in there. Yeah, let's take this mop back out. Set it in this container. Don't you have um, one... Um, don't you have Green Terra's too? No. I have a uh, Fire Mouse. Uh, and Geophagus. Oh, no. Yeah, the name that has Green Terra's. Yeah, I think you're right. I'm rinsing off this water lettuce. Or whatever. Sea lettuce. I'm going to do a little tank maintenance on that. But I think we should do the one we're looking at first. So, um, bear with Eduardo me, folks. Says if she doesn't pop in, we will get her <laughs> at the clash. talking about patty i believe could be wrong do i have an egg in my hand what is going on here no you got egg on your hand <laughs> felt something on my hand but it wasn't it wasn't the egg what i should do is clean the glass so we can see in there do I have a jug of water ready? I do. Here's a real little scraper. Something I gotta be a little gentle with. Rocky. No, yeah. Well, it is secured to the pole, but if I'm not if I don't like stabilize it, it kinda shakes like crazy, so. The fish think they're in a, a tsunami. Yeah, something. A tsunami. Edamami. Yeah. Do better than this. You can do better than that. I can that. do better than that. Especially on this edge. Especially on that edge. Come on, man. You can do better than that. Come on, man. What a night it really was. Yes, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> she hear me when I'm, when I'm alone. Eduardo says, today started at 78 degrees, and now it's 87 degrees, only 75 minutes ago. It's because I made it hot. Your breath made it hot. <laughs> Fire it up. Hot breath. Right, here we go. Sucking. Mm. That was close. What was close? I almost got a mouthful of that, whatever that was. Uh, that's not your python. No. Come on, what's the worst that can happen? Clogs? No, oh. I mean, uh, not your python I'm talking about. If you had gotten a mouthful of that stuff. Would have tasted gross? Would have been very unpleasant? That is definitely not the worst that could happen. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you're not wrong. All right, let's yeah. make sure there's no babies floating in here. We'll let this sit for a minute. It's way too stirred up. I do know that I don't think I put enough water. Or I took too much water out. And Eduardo is asking <clears throat> what, uh, which glass scraper are you using? It was like a mini knockoff. Uh, I think I got it at the Petco. It's like the Imaginarium one. It's like a knockoff uh, Magfloat. 
What are you doing, little dude? And the liquor says, I'm lucky I got him when I bought him. He, he should have been a jewel cichlid from PetSmart. Mm. He was just a little bigger than Fry. Now he's around 7 inches. Alright, this is a little on the light side with the salts. 0.013. And this tank is probably on the saltier side because I haven't done a water change in a while. It's slacking. It's slacking. Yeah. And, uh, oh, one five. asking me what happened to your tropical fish room temp. You you said it got really hot. No, it, re it really didn't. Um, like oh, he's in a basement too, right? So that kind of helps regulate yeah. it. It's actually kind of cool down there even when it's hot. Yeah. I just use those as shorts, but <laughs> yeah, not reality. <laughs> Wait, you do clickbaity shorts? Never. Who would have thought? I didn't say clickbaity shorts, but it's just uh, you know, things I get from the internet. Yes, indeed. Not too shabby. SWFL Aquatics. Okay, Southwest Marie. Florida. Okay, what? Yeah. What was the comment? He says, okay, my new account. Cool. Well, thanks for being here. With your new account. Yes, yes. Clean this up. What's it's, in that bag next to the tank? That's the fry food. Ooh. Ken's fish. We got a wet. In the bag, says, I Yes, Southwest Florida. Cool. Ken's Premium Golden Pearls, 5 50 micron. It's a new larval diet. Yeah. Speaking of which, I, I don't know, man. Guys. Every time I hear that name, I just think of something else. It's because you're a dirty old man. <laughs> Golden pearls. You're a dirty old man. All right. I don't know if that's what I'm thinking of. Because you're in my head, man. I know all about you. All right, let's go this way. Oh, that's definitely leaning. Let's lean back. Let's get this wire out of the way. What's leaning? The camera was leaning in one direction. So there's that. What did I do with the jug? Hey, thank you, Victor. Victor dropped you a $2 um, oh, Victor. sticker. Thank you very much. With a little pair that says cool. Cool. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. All right. Down here is where I have my brackish water. But there's currently not enough water. I've slacked. These fire mouse are looking good. So are the top hose. They're starting to get the red heads. This one is too. He says Kirk likes golden showers. Let's see, four, seven. Am I missing one? I'm missing one. Where's one of my top hose? One, two, three. Four. I'm only counting seven. There used to be eight. What's up, Vinay? Yo. What up? All right, so I have a whole jug of, uh, a whole vat of salt water here, I believe. I am going to use to fill up my brackish. I'm going to stir this real quick. I'm going to test it to make sure it's as salty as it should be. Using my big stir stick. And um, Southwest Florida asked, how, how, how the jar of bugs doing? That jar, it, it, uh, it collapsed. You're talking about the one that had the uh, Daphnia in it?
Yeah, that lasted. Uh, I had it juggled for a little while. I think there was a day that I, f I forgot to feed it for like a day, and that kind of like really, it just got funky. So, it's all dead. It's now an empty jar. <laughs> I cleaned it out. Yeah, that is the jar he was talking about. Yeah. Yep. Didn't last. But, you know, from what I understand, Daphne is kind of one of those crashed. colonies that, yeah, like should, yeah, that's the word. It crashed. The colony crashed. It's one of those things, I guess. All right. I'm going to fill this up and that up. And then we should be good with the, the refresh on the brackish. I need a... I need a measuring cup. Let's rinse this. Southwest Florida asking if there's any um, cichlid breeders here. Uh, I'm sure. Depends on the cichlid, I guess. I know a lot of people, some people doing the Epistos. Some people doing Angels. Uh, I don't know too many of, like, uh, the other types. And the uh, window licker is saying, how's the salt water tank doing? We're going to check that out in a sec. But I want to finish this real quick. Before my, uh... Tension gets divided, <laughs> and I forget what I was doing. I'm just gonna bring this over here because it's a hell of a lot quicker than walking across the room just to fill it. And I'm just using the the salt water that I mix. I'm mixing a, I think it's a 30 gallon trash can, basically one of those rubber making trash cans, and uh, I mix it to 1.025. And then what I do is I take these jugs that I have a little mark on them and fill that salty water up to the line. And then I fill the rest with the uh, RO. So that's kind of how I gauge. And it gets me real close to where I need to be. You're close enough. Amazing. Close enough. Amazing. Okay. Good enough. The lid back on the salt water so I don't get contaminants in it. And then I just take uh, you know the jug. I have it up to the line on this one and this one, and I just take RO water and top it up. And this gives me the usually 1.015. That's the number I shoot for. Kind of on the high end for brackish. Low end for salt. From what I understand. Mm. Hmm. Sometimes I just put the salt directly in here and then mix. That's good. Put the lid on that. Do the same with this. Top it up. Bruiser says Southwest Florida was the guy last night on the auction. Jason may have his info. What do you mean, what auction? What guy on the auction last night? Who? Who? Was he? Bruiser just said that. He was on the, like, up selling fish on the auction? Southwest Florida was a guy. Last night on the auction. Jason, you have his info. Okay. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure. I don't remember Southwest Florida being on the auction last night. Or did he win something? Is that what you're asking? Uh, I don't know what he's telling me. What are you telling me, Bruiser? <laughs> I have his info? I don't think I do. If he was on the auction buying and selling, then Skipper would have the info. All I had was the emails, the pictures. That was my job. My job is the tech guy. 
I don't keep track of who wins. I don't even look at those emails until it's time. I got all this junk on the floor. Let me clean it up. Made a mess. What is this? It's like foam. Cats. Okay. Piece of wood. <laughs> it's stuff laying all over the place. All right. My pants are falling down. Fishymon is skipping words. I see. I see. Southwest Florida. Yeah, I don't know. I'm confused. <laughs> That's why I'm keeping <laughs> quiet now. <'cause... laughs> I'm confused. <Yeah. laughs> okay. I guess we got to test the water, see if it's in the, the right range now. So let's do that. And then we'll move on to the salt tank. Whoops, we don't want that. We want this one. I gotta get a better jug. This thing is not watertight. It was it was never meant for liquids. Yep, 015, perfect. I should use that to fill up. Aren't we going to do the... Yeah. That one's perfect. Both of them dead on. Jason, apparently you're... Uh, thank God I didn't see it. I didn't <laughs> at the time. Your butt crack was showing. <sighs> I'm all, I Everybody put... wanted to know where Patty was. <laughs> He always wants to see a butt crack. Cellar info. So wait, Southwest Florida was on the was the cellar last night. Who was? Which one was this? What did they sell? I didn't know that. I didn't know it was his channel name. South, Southwest Florida. BB seven T. I am so confused. Anyway, that's that. Salt water's good. Or the brackish. I can put these well I was gonna fill up the fry tank, right? And we were gonna use that as a fry tank. Right? Alright, hang on. Hang on. We gotta change cameras. No, Kirk read it wrong. I don't believe you. Kirk has never read anything wrong in his life. Exactly. How dare you. How dare you. How dare you, sir. How dare you make such an accusation. Yeah. Against innocent Fishymon. Alright, let's clean this. But Crack Aquatics, that's a new one. LOL. <laughs> Well, I'm sorry. I apologize. I didn't realize it was happening. I, lo I left my belt somewhere this morning. I can't figure out what I do with it. So, my pants are about to fall off at any moment. Not that you guys need to know that. <laughs> I'm going to try and get some of this slime out of here. Look at this. It's gross. What I should do is just turn the light off. Maria Z is here. Maria. Good morning, Maria. What's going on, Maria? Ooh. She says, I think they're talking about the new guy, Ross. Oh. I thought he was in Baltimore. Yeah, blame it on my reading. Blame it on the reading. Blame it on my reading. You know, they might be right. Maybe it is you. I don't know. 
I guess you gotta get good, man. Right, do I need to do a water change on this? Probably should. From the new Caribbean restaurant in this area, the jerk wings and sweet potato fries were killer. Who, where, who said this? That just made me really hungry, man. <laughs> Amisa. Fishimons. Uh, SWFL needs the contact info for Ross. Oh, he's the one that won Ross's auction. Yesterday. Ah! Okay. Um. Yeah. Okay. That's a whole different story. If only somebody could have read that to me. What are you going to do? I'm going to have to mix more of that up. Kind of stirred up that substrate quite a bit. And Jeff Kane says Southwest Florida it does not need his info. He's just looking to buy fish. Oh, right. I see. Wait, because nobody bought... That's right. What, um, Ross is the one that was selling the cichlids, right? Yeah. And nobody... The auctions went un, un-auctioned, I guess. But, uh, yeah, I'm sure we can get you his info, dude. If you're looking about his fish, heck yeah. We'll hook you up. Um, wow. I'm, I'm sure Skipper's going tonight. So I don't know if you're going to be around for his stream, but that would be a good time to ask for it. Otherwise, uh, send an email to AquaristAuction at gmail.com, and we'll hook you up. We'll, well, we'll forward it here. We'll forward it to you. What's up, Paul? Yo, Paulie. I feel like this is not, eh, I guess it's more than, I didn't really take anything out. Kind of just made a mess. There is no water change happening here. I'm just stirring up the muck. Maybe I should do a water change. Spend some time on this tank. Or, I just take the mop. I don't know. I was going to try and see about hatching these guys out in fresh water. But I don't know about that, man. Because every time I do that, they don't seem to live. Or they don't live very long. Let's put it that way. So maybe we just stick it back in there. Use this as the grow out. Hatching tank? That's an idea. But if we're going to do that... I don't know, man. I'm really kind of torn on what I'm going to do here. I'm going to set this down for now. I'm going to think about this. If I want to do like a... a clean on that tank before I start using... stuff in it. What I do with the lid right here. Now I gotta refill that thing. Maybe I do that, but we were talking about salt water. How's the salt water tank doing? We showed it a little bit this morning. But we're gonna take a look. We're gonna feed this an enemy, man. I think that would be cool. He's about due to be fed. So let me uh, swap cameras. We'll let that brackish tank kind of clear up until I figure out what I'm doing with it. Yo. Configure the video. We don't need to be so zoomed, I don't think. Focusing it couldn't hurt. Yeah, maybe zoom a little bit better. Those clownfish really enjoying that anemone now. Yeah, they are. Did you see that short I put out with the time lapse of that <laughs> enemy? I think it was crazy. He gets like sucked up in his like little ball. What the anemone? Yeah. When did you put that short up? It was uh sometime this past week, I think. Did I see every one of your shorts? It was the one where you asked if it moved. Did it move? Oh, alright. Right, I'm going to get some shrimp out of the freezer. 
I'm gonna feed this little dude. Might as well grab a water I'm up here. The last water. Oh my word. Okay, let me get some water on this so it thaws the shrimp. Where's my little uh, monkey dish? It was over here, where was it? What did I do with it? Oh, there it is. Oh, I put the sea lettuce in there. All right, let's uh, use that time. Probably too much. A little tank water. Kind of fall out the shrimpy shrimps. Don't throw them in it. Just, I mean, this is way too much. I think I'm probably going to feed like two of the smaller pieces. Yeah. Maybe we'll just feed. Try and break that in half. Yeah, there we go. That's better. I'm not going to feed all of that. Seems like a lot. I don't know how much to feed these things, but I don't want to overfeed them. Anemone love. Anenum. Ooh. Anenum love. Ooh, that was a hard word. Yup. Fishy mom. I was thinking $2 each. Cool. All right. Let's see. Yeah, this is pretty much thawed. Whoops. I dropped it. You ready? Let's see, you grab it. And then it starts moving it to its mouth. Yeah, I should do a video on that. That's kind of wild. Let's take this other one. He's like, hey, you stay away from my anemone. I don't want to get stung. <laughs> shrimp. What do you call it, shrimp? It's a regular old. I guess we'll dump the rest of this in the tank and let the... See who gets it. The dotty back's like, mine! <laughs> but it's cool. They like, you know, they do that thing. Then they start moving the shrimp to its mouth. Clinging for dear life. See that little piece it's got? I don't know if you can yeah. see it on the side there. Right above the clownfish. It's a piece of white. I think that's... I think that's the shrimp. <laughs> and I also set the light to go a lot higher. Uh, for an hour. I used to have it only going to like 40-50%. Now I have it go to 100% for an hour. So it gets pretty bright in here. So I think that'll help him too. An, an enemy. <laughs> I like that. That's cool. Neat looking tank. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I feel like they're doing better with the brighter light. I think everything in the tank is doing better with the brighter light. Including the algae. <laughs> I don't know if you noticed that, but he's moved it to his mouth. This would be definitely cool to get like a time lapse on, I think. Or at least some sort of a... Uh, I don't know, maybe even slow-mo. We'll see. I'll have to play around with this. Yeah. But so far, this en an enemy is doing okay, I guess. You'll have to play around with that. Oh, yeah, baby. Have you tried touching it with your bare hands? No, uh, I don't think that's a good idea. They do have stingers. It's kind of like a, from what I understand, it's like a jellyfish thing, that kind of idea. I haven't really ever touched it, so I don't think it's good for the anemone either, honestly. To have them, you know. If I remember, that's like, because it, it's like a. 
it's a defense mechanism, I guess, or uh, it's how they also use to paralyze their prey, but every time... Oh, that stupid clownfish just stole that. No, okay. Dave He's trying uh, to steal it. <laughs> hello, everyone. We What's up, Dave? We are in Pennsylvania at uh, OF. Yeah, the uh, mountaintop. That swap that you, you sent me, that th info. Um, Wow. That's cool. Yeah, official is the name of the store. Yeah, I that would have been tempting, except I didn't find out about it until like last. Well, I think I knew about it. I just didn't think about it until last minute. And just yeah. You know. First of all, it means I'd have to miss the stream to get there on time. Which would be like. That's like sin, sin. I think I've only missed two streams the entire time. Two years I've been streaming, almost. And those were for the Keystone Clash, was one of them, and the other one was for uh, the Triple Crown. Yeah. I streamed that day. That's right. And I did an evening stream yeah. as like a bonus, like a makeup. A bonus. I'm like, I'm sorry. I missed it. So, yeah, I really haven't. But, it wouldn't, you know, I could have did it from the road, I guess, but. Cody V's here. I gotta check that place out though, and I forgot it was up there because I was up in Mount Pocono not too long ago. Could have stopped by, yeah, checked it out, see what they had. Now, I don't know if that clownfish has stole that food or he actually moved it closer to the fish at the an enemy's mouth. Interesting. I think he's still trying to steal it. You let that an enemy eat. I think he's grabbing little niblets. Maybe I should have fed the rest of them. Yeah, let's feed them. That way they stop bothering the enemy. What do I do with their little food? Yeah, I'm trying to use up this little... I gotta use up the stuff I bought. The cause... swap is on till 6, they says. Nice. That's cool. Anybody in that area, definitely check it out. And, um... Victor says, Jason, please say hi to um, Diana for us. I will when I talk to her. I don't think she's going to the clash, though. I don't know. I haven't talked to her in a while. But, you know. I think she's doing okay. I hope so. I know she's been busy. But I've been busy, too, man. So it's like, like I'm the best person on earth. Got a lot going on these days. You've been busy and you've been dizzy. I've been working. It's been hot. <laughs> been long days. And, uh, and no cell reception. Saying, I think you need a bigger anemone. An anemone me. Yeah. I think I need more. Might get another one. But we'll see. Let me get this under control. Make it feel like I'm not going to kill it at every moment. Actually, this whole saltwater tank has been that whole process for me. Honestly, I still feel like I'm going to kill it at any moment, and it's been almost three years. So, but it's been an interesting ride. I still have issues. Obviously, I got algae issues. Uh, the protein skimmer seems to be working. I think I do have to turn that up a little, maybe. Or whatever, push it down. He says, if y'all are near Connecticut, east, eastern New York, I will be taking a... I will be talking at the Dandri, Danbury, Danbury. Aquarium Danbury. on Friday. Does Danbury have one of those uh, small little grass... Uh, or I don't think it's a grass shop... I think it's a. Uh, is it like on a lake? It's one of those places that does like a uh, water water planes. Those planes that land on water. Single engine water. Is asking about seeing, speaking of streaming at the class. Did you guys get the email? I did get the email, but the uh, the only time I stream is on Sunday mornings. 
and uh, there was no spot for Sunday morning, so I think it's only Friday, Saturday for the streaming, for the YouTube room. Mm. Yeah, because he did say that. I don't think there was a... But open spots for Friday and Saturday. Yeah. Well, I might, uh, we might, you know, I don't know. If anything, it'd be impromptu, and it'd be kind of hard to... I mean, if the room if the room doesn't have anybody in it, is it just able to just like slide right in? We'll find out. We'll see. Maybe we'll just hijack somebody else's stream, <laughs> like they did to me last year. Streaming and all of a sudden, you know, the whole room got bigger. Not that I mind. Thought it was fun. Could be something like oh, that. The huh? is asking, how about uh, how about some glowfish shorts? Anybody drop a nice tank of glowfish on your Discord, Jason? Did they? They might have. I guess I could look. Or was that like a recent? Let's see. Man, there's a horrible glare in that tank. Hey, look, one of the snails is out. That's like a rare, rare sighting right there. Whoops. Discord. And uh, Scotty's saying, uh, gotta get the door opened, but yes. And you can still do your stream Sunday morning, wherever, uh, somewhere else in the hotel if you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? I can do it? <laughs> Thanks, Scotty. Yeah, I kind of just figured that's what I was going to do. I'd probably just walk around like a, whatever. You know what I actually think I might do is like, I don't know, bring my laptop. That'll help. And then maybe do a, you know what? some See, edited content. Everybody's having such a big problem with my reading. Here's what I have to say about that. Oh, no. Here we go. Should I mute him? No, oh, no. He just left. See what you did? You drove him all away. Drove him away, guys. Now he's going to sit in the corner and cry. And have nobody to blame but you. What does it say? The dates? The AGA? Ooh. This is next year? 2024? Yeah, April 4 to 5. Raleigh, North Hills, Hilton, and Convention Center. The AGA. That's the uh, plant, right? Plant people. That might be interesting. That sounds really good. Paul, say hi to Nancy for me. Say hi to Nancy for me, too. <laughs> hurricane up the West Coast. When we talking about this, why they call it a hurricane? Most West Coast people call it a typhoon. But I think that's an Asian thing. I don't know. I used to know stuff about this, but I can't remember. Oh, what is going on? Poor Fishymon. There we go. A little too zoomed in, I think. <laughs> Typhoon is Asia. What is going on with us? Okay. Yeah. I also thought it had something to do with... Uh, don't they spin differently on that, that side of the world? Coming off that... Because the typhoons come from Asia and go east, right? I believe that's how it works. In the Pacific, they're coming from the west to east, right? Whereas in the east coast, they come from east to west. I think they're spinning the opposite direction. I don't know. 
I don't remember. I think I skipped that day. <laughs> Whoops. All right. Well, we got no fishymon. Fed the anemone. Oh, I can put the... Uh... That's not the right tank. I got to put the fry in uh, with their parents. Did I do that yet? I don't think I did. Let's move this camera. We're still dripping in the other guys. You're gonna be all right, little dude. I should take a picture of him. He looks pretty cool like that. Get on my macro camera. Get some macro shots. All right, let's trade cameras. Those fry have been in there for a little hot minute. Should be up to temp. You're free. My parents are like, hey, we can't eat you. You're too big. But we're going to try. <laughs> nope. They're all right. I was just worried about them when they're real little. They get... I have noticed that sometimes the fry disappear. Even though I've never seen them eat their eggs, I've seen them mouth their eggs and then spit them back out. But I've never seen them eat their eggs. I think their eggs are too big for their mouth. So, we'll see. Kirk, come back! That's Maria begging you. <laughs> Who scared Fishy Man, man away? Fishy Mon away. That's sad. That is sad, Aqua Bonita. He's crying in a corner. If I had to guess, well, I won't. I won't guess. Let's see if he comes back. He's not coming back. Now it's a thing of pride. <clears throat> All right, what should we do with this brackish tank, or the the brackish eggs? Do I put them in? Do I keep this brackish tank for babies? Do I try another system? I don't know, man. I'm really... I really don't know. First of all, I think... Yeah, all right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So. I'm at a loss here. I was, I don't know, what was I going to do with the eggs? I feel like if I'm going to keep the eggs in the brackish environment, I should just set up the, that uh, breeder box thingy that hangs on the front of the tank, or side of the tank, or back of the tank, wherever the heck. Right? Maybe I should do that, and we should just break this tank down. In that case, I just wasted all that water I just made. Um, but you don't give into the sunk cost fallacy here, man. Just because I spent time and energy and money on something doesn't mean I should stick with it, right? If it's not working, it's not working. Okay. I don't know what to do here. Now I feel bad. It's all my fault. I'm going to go to my room and clean some windows. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. We all know what really happened. Uh-oh. Okay. No, oh, he said I did. Wait, did you? I didn't see him. He said his audio is still choppy too.
But, you know, whatever. Look at that big, beautiful rock. That is a big, beautiful rock. I know which rock you're talking about. You're talking about this rock. That rock. That's the rock. All right, do we salvage this tank? Keep it brackish? Do we break it down, make it something else, move these eggs somewhere? Move the eggs somewhere? Do we hatch the eggs in fresh water? Either way, what I should do is put the water lettuce back in the tank. Maybe I should have put that in the other tank. Oh well. I don't know how well that water lettuce is even doing. It kind of just gets a bunch of cyanobacteria all over it. It's because that light is way too bright. Speaking of bright lights. Okay, where are we at here? What is going on with them? Cool. Alright. Apparently I can't read and do things at the same time, so we need to figure out what we're doing. What do I want to do? That's the question. That's what I don't know. I blame Patty for not popping in. Yeah. Water lettuce looked a little melted. It wasn't really melted. It was more like uh, just was covered in cyanobacteria, so it's kind of like... Some of it, I guess, melted. Sea lettuce is what this is, or whatever they call it. Yeah, some of it looks a little melted. That's probably where the bacteria was growing. I don't know, man. The malt, yeah, the water letter. It's not, yeah. Did the fry do good in the tank last time? Yeah, well, they hatched out in there. I guess that's a good point. Well, since I'm undecided on what I'm doing, I'm just going to put the eggs in the tank. And we'll see what happens with them. We'll just leave it go. Leave it all alone. How's the flounder doing? So far, so good. He's going to be dripping in there for a while, probably till tomorrow. I probably could speed that up, actually. But I'd rather not stress the fish. Speaking of which, I'm going to take a picture of him. Let's try and get a good shot. Whoa. Cool. I'll get out the macro camera eventually. The algae isn't a bad thing for fry. You're right. You were very right. I'm not so worried about the algae. I just thought it'd be nice to do a water change as opposed to just adding water to it. <laughs> I suppose I still can. I just need to uh, fill the tank up. Actually, I probably should keep it that low just for the fry. There is no filter on this tank. I just have a bubbler going or a, whatever, an air stone. That's one thing I could fix. I have this little one sitting right here. Get a little filtration, I guess. Why not? Oh, trip over this box. Oh, yeah. Hang on. We gotta move the light. I can't get to the cord. Stupid. Uh. 
I'll move that to the center, I guess. Worst comes the worst, I have a seated filter. We could probably turn the light down because it seems to be too much. Well, that was a horrible scraping noise. Some music to the ears. All right, what did I do with the, the light? Oh, here it is. What are we at? 70. Let's go down to 30, 40. Go to 40. See how that works. See how that works. I don't know what a rat's nest that is. Okay. We'll leave it alone. Hopefully we get some fry. We'll keep an eye on it. We'll go from there. All right, let's see. I keep looking backstage. <laughs> He's not there. Jesus left me. I'm all alone. Fishymon is an everyday hero. <laughs> One is too far and the other is too expensive. I don't know what we're talking about. I'm guessing the clash or uh, conventions. My ears cracked. Sorry to hear that. Hide that. We'll keep it in lower light. We'll see how it does. Founder's doing all right. He's over here. I guess I could feed these guys. Well, I did feed. I didn't feed the parents. Yeah. Ooh, there's another flounder. I could grab them. Nah. I don't like to do that after they've eaten. That seems like a... I need to give them a little rest. But I see at least one more flounder. There should be two more in this tank. Actually, I think I see the other one, too. I see the eyeballs. Sometimes when they disturb the uh, sand, you can see the outline of where they were or are. That's usually how I spot them. Yeah, I guess it's not a bad idea to have three brackish tanks up and running. There's got to be some other fish I could put in there, man. Besides flounders. Flounders would be cool, though. I could get more. Figure out how to get them to breed. That'd be even cooler. Good morning, Jen and P. Cody V, good morning. Lady Rorschach's here, too. Good morning. My co-host, uh, the voice in my head, he got upset and left. <laughs> Everybody was giving him a hard time. Breed him on us. There you go. I could do that. That'd be interesting. Now, they only do they only go down Bumblebee Gobies? Hmm. I think Bumblebee Gobies would eat fry, though, don't you? If they came too close. Figure eight puffers. That's a good one. Yeah, maybe. But I guess there are some cool brackish puffers. Yep. Figure eights would be one of them. Yeah. Figure eights is not a bad idea. I'd just be worried about them killing the fish. I don't know. I think the go the bumblebee gobies are like ambush predators, right? So. As long as the fry stayed up top, they'd probably be all right. But I have a feeling those dudes would dart up there, and I could see them doing that, man. Those little, those little gobies are pretty hate machines, man. I like them, though. They're cool. That's a good idea, though. Maybe we just uh, put adults in there? Hmm. I could add those bumblebee gobies to the... Uh, for the ones with the flounders. I don't think the flounders, they would mess with flounders. Bumblebee gobies are my gup, guppy regulators. Yeah, see? All right, there you go. I knew they'd eat the fry. I wonder what the puffers would do. If they're like uh, pea puffers. Pea puffers are... People always say they're good little... I don't know about that, man. Every 
thing I ever put in with pea puffers was like getting mauled. Ooh, lights went out. Lots of fry cover with mangrove roots. Roots. Yeah. Problem is, I don't think I have room for mangroves. Mangroves. Because uh, a mono shrimp will eat fried too. Speaking from experience, that's good to know. Pretty Heat Machine is a fantastic album. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it is. <laughs> Except that Nine Inch Nails, right? Good old days. A brackish archer fish? Yes, yes. Yes, there are. There's a lot of brackish things. Archers, yeah, there's a lot. I think everything's going to eat the fry, honestly. I think. So I think, uh, if anything, if I was going to do these other fish, I wouldn't. I think the flounders would be great with fry. So maybe I should uh, throw some flounders in there. I mean, I can see flounders eating fry too, but they'd have to get real close to the bottom. <laughs> they'd have to be looking for food. How's the 125 working, and is the water bridge still working? Let's take a look. I believe you can see it from right here. A little bit of an angle. Water bridge is working. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, you can see it. Companies here, gotta go. Have a great day. You too. Thanks, Maria. Thanks for being here. Um, put hot sauce on it, and I'll eat the fish fry. Yup. You ever have a uh, mealchi? That's some weird stuff. It's basically hot sauce on, <laughs> on fish fry. They look like they look like endlers. I'm not convinced that they're not endlers. I think they're a type of uh, not sardine. What's the other one? Anchovy. Yeah. But yeah, the water bridge seems to be doing okay. I just did a water change in that this week. I didn't obviously fill up the tank enough. Because the water bridges, or the sump is getting kind of low. Someday, I, I've, I don't know. Someday I may get in there and fix that. Make a permanent fix. But it works. It works good enough that I really just have to start it every once in a while. And usually by the time it needs to be restarted is the time i got to do water changes and maintenance anyway. So, And it functions perfectly fine on one pump. Or even if both pumps are going and the water bridge breaks, it's still working. It's still pumping. It's still filtering. Just one side takes the majority of the water and the other side doesn't. Yeah. What else we got? Summer tub outside is doing pretty good. I, mean, I got to do a little update video on that. Here's the Luminatus. These guys are looking pretty good too. Uh, what I do need to do is get more mops. I took the mops out of some of these tanks. And instead of searching for the eggs, I was just thinking, you know what, I'm just going to cycle mops. Leave them in here for like a week. Move it into a hatching tank. Specifically for that type of fish. Well, I guess if we're using the brackish tank for the brackish eggs, I guess that's one of the tanks I don't need to worry about. You know what? I knew I should have done that. I knew I should have done that. I honestly don't remember what tank I put the mops in. Which fish? <laughs> I'm such an idiot. <laughs> Oh, I knew I was going to forget. Oh, I remember. It's easy. This one goes here. That one goes there. Which ones went? I think. Oh, man. I don't remember. Did I stick those down there or over there? I think I put them over there. And I think these. I don't remember. 
this is not good. Well, I guess then we just have to wait. I gotta get it. I gotta get it less scatterbrained. Most mangroves will do fine in fresh water. It's not about them doing okay or not. I'm not worried about... <clears throat> well, yeah, I think... All right, the question was, do mangroves need brackish or salt water, or will they do fine and fresh? I think they originally start out in fresh, and then they move to... I guess that's how they're grown. I don't know about in the wild. But uh, I think most people have to acclimate them to the salt, the brackish. You can't just stick them right in. Um... <clears throat> But I don't see why they wouldn't do fine and fresh. I think they just tolerate salt. The only problem is I don't want to use them is because apparently they're trees, aren't they? Don't they get big? Huge? Eventually? Unless you keep trimming them and then it's just like, ugh. I don't think you're really bonsai a mangrove. Well, that'd be an interesting idea. Might be worth trying. You could 3D print a different bridge or build a clear one to make sure you get the air out. What I would, I don't, I don't know about. I think, I think what happens is, gravity takes over, and when the water gets too low, in one of the, what do you call them, one of the chambers, the left or the right one, when the water gets low, or I, I if, if the bridge is working, the water is going to get low at the same point, and it's going to get too low, that gravity is going to pull. Uh, the air out of the water, I guess. What is that word? Cavitation? But I think that happens at, like, higher speeds. But at some point, the gravity's gonna, the bridge is gonna break because of gravity, I believe. And that's when the air gets introduced in the system. Google gives me different answers. Picked up a couple at the last meeting. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know enough about mangroves. Super slow, and that's why they're endangered and protected in the wild. They grow slow. Okay. There we go, Eduardo. You are amazing. Thank you. <laughs> $20 super chat. Super sticker. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. I don't know about if I'm amazing or not, but I'll take the compliment. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I don't know. I really don't know about that whole... Uh, Mangrove. Mangroves will grow a lot faster once it reaches the surface and gets access to CO2. Oh, I only thought you just put the roots in. You didn't put the whole thing in, did you? KJE sells them. What do you know? And if you use the old uh, depths unknown code. Save yourself 12%. That's cool. You gotta go. Stay fresh cheese bags. Right on. Out of stock, but I have some uh, for myself. Cool. Yeah, I thought about it. It's definitely tempting. I, I guess they're highlight. Are they highlight? I would assume they're highlight the trees. Most trees are highlight. <laughs> Most trees are not an indoor thing. sitting here reading chat, kind of looking at my messy containers. Actually, there is some black worms in here. And blackberry algae. Was there black worms? I thought there was. There's only like one or two. Somebody's going to eat them. My uh, colony of... Uh, Luminatus are dying, or uh, dwindling. I haven't really been collecting eggs. Maybe I should, uh, maybe I should see about getting some more. Marie's not here anymore, so I'll have to ask her to send her a text. Um, I did take some of their eggs, a mop, and I put it in the tub outside. I also did it with the Celebes rainbows. Stuck a mop full of their eggs outside. So there might be some Luminatus outside. If there is, that'd be really cool. 
I haven't really checked because they were still kind of in that fry stage. It's really hard to tell one rainbow from another at that age. Heavyweight BBA tank. This is a next level BBA tank, and I don't know why. There's something. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's the light. There's too much stuff in front of me right now. It's making me feel crazy. It's making me feel crazy, man. I just saying how about the BBA this tank is on the same system as the tank above it I know I've talked about this many times but for those who don't know this tank is a 29 gallon that drains into this tank right over there and then this drains down into the sump that's down below there's actually a build on my channel how I built this sump. Anyway, and then this pumps all the way back up to the top tank and the cycle repeats. The top tank, I've managed to eradicate all the black beard algae out of this tank for the most part. There's probably some on a rock or a log somewhere. But wouldn't that, I guess what that means is I just moved all the black beard algae from that tank to this tank. Even though this tank has always had black beard algae too. So I'm not entirely sure what the difference is. I think it's the lighting. Maybe this is where the Blackbird hangs out. Luminatus fade quick. I have to get... Uh, thing is in the way. Get on my colony too. Seems like summer break is too long. What? How can summer break be too long? <laughs> That's the first person I ever heard say that. Oh, there is a mop in here. It's just floating. So is my uh, Anubius. I'm not sure why that's floating. Let's see if we can wedge it in something. Oh, yeah, right here. Wedge it in there. Stay in there. I want to do them up there. Let's see if there's any eggs in it. time we got yeah we still got what a couple weeks until August is over right and then we have all September anybody in the uh, the mid-Atlantic region like uh, if you're doing any summer tubbing or anybody north of that like, when do you bring your your stuff in I don't have my glass oh, I see at least one egg I see an egg question is what am I going to do with it what did I do with the other luminous eggs I guess we can just stick them in and then see what hatches and we can figure it out when they get older right I'm gonna put them in this bottom tank here all right I'm gonna designate this a luminous tank I should probably write it somewhere On my fry rack system, I guess. It's the bottom tank on the left. <laughs> see if we find any more eggs. Well, at least we got a female in there. It's definitely a male. I could see him flaring. Yeah, this is like a genetic bottleneck, though. This is, uh, I'm going to need more luminosity. I should really keep up on breeding these guys a lot more than I do. Half the reason is my system has just really not been that great. It kind of like hinders me. So, I don't know. I don't know. I need to figure out a better method. I think just doing this whole one tank for thing... Which means I would have to keep, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six tanks that I would have to put. I have sifted, well, six different types of 
if I, including the Celebes, it would be five different blue eyes. Oh, and that doesn't even include the thread pins. I didn't even think about this. <laughs> Gotta smoke! Can't smoke in your hotel. Did I see Mr. Aquatics, Master Aquatics sticker? I saw the $20 one, yes. Yes, thank you. I believe I acknowledged it. Oh, well. Anyway, kids, I don't know what more we got going on today. Might end this a little, uh, well, we're already way over time. But we could end it a little early today, early-ish. If you haven't hit that like button, I would appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed, I would appreciate that too. Other than that, that's all I can ask. <laughs> um, thanks for live streaming. Thank you for being here, man. We will, uh, yeah, I think we're going to leave it on that note. I'll keep you guys posted about the uh, flounder. Check in on him again next, next week. I'll try and see if I can move more than just one a week. Maybe one a day. Try and get them all in there. Try and get some good pictures of them. And maybe we can... I think we've eliminated the fact that they're hog chokers. Although I do think hog chokers would be a cool fish. I would like to get some. So I'll have to work on that. Whoops, live chat has moved. Let's go back here. Was the depth of the fry tray maybe a problem? Maybe the pressure of the water affects the fry? Well, if anything, that'd be the other way. The... The fry rack, the fry tray was not very deep, so there wouldn't be that much water pressure. So I don't know if that's a thing. If anything, it might have been too hard, the water. And then the eggs kind of, the shells get a little too hard for them to get out. I don't know. I don't know. I'll have to think about this. I often thought about softening up those tanks, too, to hatch out. Because as Richard Reynolds says that's what he does. He hatches a lot of his rainbows in, like, pretty much RO water, I think. Or a mix. Um, so, yeah. All right, guys. We're going to call it. Thanks for being here. I will catch you all again next week. Still in September. Or, uh, I said September. We're still in August, I believe. <laughs> I don't even know what day it is. But, yeah, we'll be back. Try it again next week. And uh, everybody, as Paul would say, stay fresh, cheese bags. Thanks, all. Bye.